In this use case, I will show you something very interesting. In the two previous cases, we rely on the F5 distributed cloud global network on the 20 pops that F5 owns in our own buildings, own data centers. For some reasons, some companies can't deploy an expose application on pops that they don't own. Okay, so regulatories, regulations, compliance, or just because the pops are too far. If I take an example of Central Africa, there are few pops, few pops in a, in a Central Africa. I have a solution for that. So let's have a look. In this use case, I will not expose the application and pr protected application on the F5 global network. I will use the F5 global networks for the control plane, for the management, observability, analytics. But from a user point of view, a consumer point of view, the user will not use the global network. They will connect directly to the customer data centers or the customer locations. Let's say a public cloud endpoint, for instance. So let's have a look on the architecture. I have an application running in a location. It could be a private data center in the middle of Central Africa, or it can be an application in a public cloud, for instance. And I don't want to use the global network for the traffic flow, but I want to leverage all the F5 distributed cloud capabilities of the WAP. WAF, API protection, bot protection, and DDoS protection. So in this use case, the C, the C is a customer edge. It's an extension of the global network. It's a pop deploy by the customer in the customer environment. Private pop, so private environment, data center, or public environment, public cloud. This pop is owned by the customer but this pop is managed by F5. F5, this the cloud, is a platform as a service. Okay, so we will manage this node, this virtual pop for you. So the C, the customer edge here is, co is connected to the distributor, to the global network, okay, through two IPsec tunnels, but only for management and observability and analytics. But my application, freewf5.com, my, mybank.com, it exposed on the internet, on the public interface. So very simple, here in Azure, in my Azure tenant, I have a VNet, my VNet has an Azure load balancer, the Azure balancer has a public IP address, DC has a public IP address. So from now, let's say I'm in the middle of Africa, Central Africa, there is no F5 pop currently in April 2022 in this area, but I want to leverage all the F5 distributed cloud WAP solution, WAF, API protection, DDoS layer seven, and bot protection, I can use the C. So my consumers, my users, will directly connect to my pop, local pop, customer pop or customer hedge, and will connect to the application. But from a SecOps point of view and NetOps point of view, everything is managed through the console. So for SecOps, for NetOps, it doesn't matter if the application is exposed on the internet through the F5 global network and the 20 pops or directly in Central Africa, for instance, on my customer edge. This is the customer edge only use case when the F5 distributed cloud pops can be used for any reason, compliance, regulatories, or, or because the pops are too far from the consumers. Thanks for watching.